fellow Minecrafters, Gearsaw Studios here. Today I'm going to show 1.17 pre-release 2, where they have released 1.17 part 1 release date. So before I show it, remember, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Now, let's investigate. As you can see here, Minecraft 1.17 pre-release 2, where it has released on a Monday, so that's a little odd, but to be expected, their release date is right around the corner, being on June 8th. They have done nothing but patch some bugs, which includes smooth lighting not working properly, arrows fired into the side of bamboo or pointed dripstone never despawn, pretty sure some of you know what happened in Hermitcraft Season 7 with a certain arrow, Smooth lighting behaves oddly with blocks covered with tint and glass. Flowering azalea leaves ID is unintuitive. The b explosion power of gas fireballs is uncapped, which can be exploited to cause a freeze slash crash. Glowing entities <laughs> that also are translucent often don't merge with their outlines with other glowing entities. TNT can be pushed within tint. Chanted sword with knockback, so if some of you have been doing that, you better run from the TNT now. Slimes and magma cubes not interacting with the player has been patched. Nether fossils generating on the nether roof above bedrock and soul sand valleys has been patched. So, less strange formations. Facing away from signs with glowing text makes the text disappear or Z fight. Unknown CPU on debug menu and slash debug does not work as described. So that's all they've done. So let's make sure all the bugs have been fixed. The knockback TNT, as you can see, I am not able to deflect this TNT with knockback. So unfortunately, no, you can't just knock your TNT away from precious builds and redstone. Here we have some skeletons, all inflicted with glowing, and as you can see, their models now render a bit better. You can still see some strange stuff, but that's just because how the glowing model works and skeleton modeling works. So, overall, it's just a lot better now that they can merge correctly. And now they're pretty. Over here in this soul sand valley, there used to be a small chance where nether fossils would spawn on the nether ceiling. However, that does not happen anymore. It's now just a nice, empty plane. So now it's a bit harder to find your way around here on the nether roof. Due to all the other bugs being either hard to demonstrate or very technical, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. So, don't forget, June 8th is when Caves and Cliffs Part 1 releases, and take care. Gearsaw, 